Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about some brand new QNAP devices with a difference because although it is for NAS it is not strictly a NAS. I want to talk about two brand new expansions from the guys at QNAP. Now for those that have already owned a QNAP NAS for a number of years, be it desktop or rack mount, there's no denying it that space is finite. You get a 2 or a 4 or an 8 bay or whatever size NAS you go for, eventually you are going to start running out of space. Now that could be for a number of reasons. Maybe the hard drives you've got or the RAID level that you've got um, just have reached a certain capacity limit. Maybe the way you use the device has reached a point where just capacity levels are unmanageable and you are looking at the option of an expansion. Now till recently, QNAP have had a few different expansion options. Um, originally there was the UX series, the UX 500p and the UX 800p and these were JBOD, just a bunch of drives solutions that allowed you to uh, attach a bunch of other hard drives and then the NAS would kind of absorb these new drives which could then be used to either expand the existing RAID or to be used as a duplicate area with the RAID being handled by the NAS. A number of years later, we saw the release of the TR series, the TR002, the TR004, and a rack mount solution, the TR004U. These are all RAID enabled storage devices. These are ones that had a hardware RAID controller inside them, and these allowed the existing NAS to have its own RAID configuration and either incorporate these extra drives that were connected via USB, uh, USB type C um, to the original RAID storage area and expand the storage or have them as an independent RAID area with their own RAID solution all built in with their own RAID controller and therefore you could have synchronization or just external storage. Now this new series of expansion units are JBOD. This is we're going to be talking about both an 8 bay and a 12 bay solution. Now I am going to look ever so slightly off camera there because these product IDs are not fun. These are the rack mount. This is the TL R1200UC with a potentially a redundant power supply version. That is a 12 bay rack mount JBOD expansion device and there is an 8 bay desktop version called the TL D. 800 UC. Now, these two expansion solutions, as mentioned, are JBOD. That means that the RAID of these drives needs to be handled by the NAS, and both of them are connected via USB. But they both use not only USB Type C, but also USB 3.1 Gen 2. That is to say, they're both connected with that 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. Now, having an expansion device that doesn't have a RAID, you know, on board isn't hugely surprising. Most expansion devices don't feature hardware RAID. Very small number of them actually have it. And also, hardware RAID on USB Type-C and particularly USB 3.1 Gen 2 devices, once you go beyond two drives and into the RAID 5 category, it's incredibly rare. There's only a few brands out there that actually have uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 RAID solutions. Don't believe me? Have a quick Google. See if you can find more than five and put it in the comments. But I think this high point's one of them. Um, but there's still no denying that these expansion devices are still only going to be JBOD enabled, so they're not for everyone. But that 10 gigabit Ethernet connection, um, not Ethernet, 10 gigabits per second USB connection over USB Type C is still very, very attractive indeed because. Having that 10 gigabits um, uh, connectivity to your expansion device does ensure there are no bottlenecks with that expansion device. A number of people have always leveled that USB as an expansion connection isn't ideal, given that SATA, that most of these drives use, utilizes 6 gigabits per second, and USB 3 standard was 5 gigabits per second. Therefore, you were losing 1 gigabit there. But 10 gigabits per second removes that entirely. Whether you see the benefits of that will, of course, depend on the media you use and the power of the NAS you use, as well as, of course, whether your NAS has USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, a nice red USB. Some of them have it, some of them don't. Now, either one of these expansion devices, the Rackman and the desktop, do arrive with their own dedicated cable as well, which I know doesn't seem like much, but trust me, it's actually quite surprising. A number of these brands do not include a certified 3.1 uh, Gen 2 cable. Um, now, we're going to learn more about these devices from QNAP's own live stream, which might even be live right now within the last hour or so, so do check it out. But right now, this 8-bay chassis is not dissimilar to the chassis I've seen with a much more towering bay 
uh, than the like, uh, something similar to the TS-832X. But again, we will look, we'll learn more on their live stream. And we are seeing a lot of these um, smaller evolutions from QNAP during this period because a lot of their products they released at the start of the year. So what we're seeing now is a lot more of the fluid network bits in between, such as adapters like the ones we've spoken about, and of course, some of those new cost-effective switches too. If you want to learn more about these devices, do go to NASCAR in the description where we try to overview and you know cover as many of these devices as possible from all the brands. And of course, you can go over to the guys at span.com, 25 years in the biz. They know their way around these things and they can help you with your storage needs. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you more about the device right now but i'm looking forward to a uh, kind of a follow-up update to this video within the next week and do stay tuned in the next couple of weeks for some big 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 news in the world of nas that i can't tell you about right now but i cannot wait to tell you about but otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video